Uh, infrared products work because of their ability to provide artificial sunshine, uh, actually called mean radiant temperature, inside a space, which allows you to lower air temperature. So if you lower air temperature, your, your calculated heat loss is less, your infiltration is less. Um, the savings um, compared to typical air type systems, anywhere from 30 to 50 percent is pretty typical. Uh, any place where you have a, a volume of air that's changed out um, on a regular basis, so that's wasted energy. If you have air, you have to recharge that volume. With infrared, you don't have to do that. Infrared only heats surfaces. So think of it as standing in the sun uh, and then feeling that sunshine on our face. If it's 20 degrees out and you're in the sun, it's really feeling like 50. You want to take that jacket off. If you jump back in the shade, well, guess what? It's 20 degrees out. i got to put my jacket back on. So that's what we're trying to do uh, through a whole series of products. The whole idea, again, is to, is to create radiant uh, energy, use less uh, air temperature, make the temperatures lower, consume less energy. Uh, there's also electrical savings compared to uh, big air, like air rotation units that have very large motors. Um, electrical savings can be 30, 35 percent uh, over an equivalently sized uh, uh, conventional, more conventional air heating system, in addition to the radiant fuel savings you can get. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, actually, any place that you can take advantage of a volume of air that doesn't need to be replenished, you can save money. A church is a fabulous one. It gets used one or two days a week. It gets evacuated every couple hours. Um, so you're wasting a lot of heat. Um, put in a radiant system. There's nothing, nothing better for a, a person my age in particular to go in and sit on a nice warm bench uh, in the wintertime when I'm cold. Airplane hangers are real good. You open the doors up to bring an airplane in or let it out, it basically wipes out all the air. There's, you close the door, air heaters have to really churn hard for a couple hours to replenish that air. In a radiant system, we actually will heat the floor over time so that when you close those doors, you have this artificial sunshine coming directly from the heaters, but you also have it coming at a lesser extent from the floor. The floor is the most proximate surface to you, so it's shining on you from front, back, and both sides, and you can get recovery very, very quickly in those, those big uh, applications. Um, basically, any industrial application uh, where surfaces are involved, where occupants are involved, one of the neat things about radiant is it goes where you point it. It's like a flashlight. It's, it's, it's just a different form of light. Okay, so if you, uh, if you have a great big warehouse and you only got a guy doing uh, uh, shipping and receiving, he's in his little 10 foot square area, you can actually put a high intensity burst of energy uh, over him and forget about the rest of the warehouse. Well, how much energy are you going to save to do that?